Welcome to the EP Ever Tutorial Series. In this video, we'll show you how to connect our MPPT controller to a lithium battery using the BMS Link module and how to set it up so they can communicate smoothly. For this demonstration, we're using the Tracer AN Series controller and an EP Ever lithium battery. Let's get started. Here's what you'll need. A controller, lithium battery, BMS at link module, and RS-485 cables. Note, the BMS link and RS-485 cable are optional. Please prepare them in advance. First, connect the RS-485 communication cable labeled BAT to the battery. Next, connect the other end to the BMS link module Then, connect the module to the controller. Once you've confirmed that the connections are correct, power on the system. Although everything is connected, but the device screen shows that communication has not started yet. So, we need to configure three key settings. Host mode, BMS protocol number, and battery type. Let's set it. On the controller, press select to find the interface type. Then long press enter to access the settings menu. On the LCD screen, a flashing S appears, indicating that the controller is now in slave mode. Press select button once. Now it's in NN host mode. NN host mode is used for BMS communication, while slave mode is used for RS-485 communication. If you're using PC software or the app to configure battery parameters, the controller must be in slave mode. For direct battery communication, host mode is required. Although the device is set to host mode by default, we recommend double-checking the setting to ensure proper operation. Then, press Enter to confirm. Next, set the BMS protocol number. Press Select to set the BMS protocol number. Long press Enter to edit. Set the protocol number to 34. This is the standard setting for the battery we're using. Press Enter to confirm. Note, users should set the BMS communication protocol based on the actual conditions. Now, go to the battery parameter interface and set the battery type. Long press the Enter key to access the settings. Press SELECT three times to choose F04, then press ENTER to confirm. F04 means four strings of lithium iron phosphate batteries. Each battery cell delivers about 3.2 volts. Four cells together give approximately 13.3 volts. Make sure your battery type and string number settings match your actual battery configuration. Now, restart the controller to apply all the settings. After rebooting, check the battery parameters and you'll see the updated settings displayed. Meanwhile, the BMS and Link module's indicator light will change from red to green and flash continuously, showing that the controller is connected to the battery and data is being transmitted. The controller now monitors and protects your battery automatically, managing charging, discharging and temperature safety. For long-term performance, we recommend checking your system regularly. Look out for dust, corrosion, and loose connections, and take corrective actions if necessary. If you have any questions, read the user manual for full instructions, or contact our support team anytime. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next EP Ever tutorial.